everyone, I'm Sarah, and I'm actually here standing in an ancient prairie in the middle of Houston, Texas. Um, we are at a second bloom of Texas coneflower, and that's this flower uh, that's blooming right here. It gave a great show at the same location in June, and now we are mid-September, and it's putting on a second show, which we were kind of surprised about because actually, this prairie meadow horse pasture was mowed in July. Um, if you Google Texas coneflower USDA, you'll come up with a map and it'll, you can zoom in and it'll show you the Texas coneflower naturally exists only on the Texas and Louisiana um, Gulf Coast. Um, so it's endemic to this region and it's a really beautiful flower. Um, one way that I identify it besides the showy yellow bloom are the leaves. So when you touch the leaf, it feels to me, it feels um, thick and slick. Um, and it creates this nice basal uh, pattern that actually in your garden could be a nice ground cover um, when it's not in bloom. Texas coneflower attracts all sorts of um, butterflies and other pollinators. Um, but one thing that's really cool since we're out here is to imagine how old is this plant community? How long has this plant community existed here? Did it exist before the four million people came to live in Houston? Yes. Did it exist 10,000 years ago? Probably so. You have to start understanding the geology of the region to really understand how ancient this prairie is. But many people on the west coast might consider the redwood forests um, ancient and majestic. In Texas, our prairies represent that. These are ancient plant communities um, that actually we have very little remaining of and we need to cherish what is still in existence. One other thing I wanted to point out about Texas coneflowers is that they are perennials, meaning they may completely die back, um, though Texas coneflowers typically show their leaves pretty you know, much throughout the year. But their root system remains below ground, so they will come back each year um, and maintain their root system throughout the year. So some people say that this prairie acts as a um, wonderful way to absorb water because the water um, from rain events or flood events can actually seep down into all those root system crevices and, and hold that um, water in the ground. So because this series is called A Plant and a Prayer, where I'm highlighting one plant and then bringing in uh, spiritual reading or inspiring thought or quote, today I just wanted to focus on one word and the word is abundance. And I was doing a meditation with a group on Zoom earlier. Uh, it was a wonderful meditation where this concept of abundance really came to me. And I just want to take a moment to recognize where I am with this complex natural system to appreciate. I want to recognize my friends and family um, that bring me joy and challenges throughout my days. Um, I would like to recognize the fact that I focus on cooking almost every day and the abundance of sustenance that I have. Um, and mainly, I would like to recognize that when I close my eyes or tap into my internal life, I'm able to connect with all of you, with the natural world, with the beyond and all around us. And that makes me feel great abundance. 